This Prado is getting a rear underbody water tank. These are stainless steel 316. They're 30 litres and they come with the following fitting kit. Got a few bits and pieces here, brackets, nuts and bolts. We got some vibration isolators, rubber isolators, some clear tubing for the breathers and the level meter, and tap and an extension for the tap. So first thing to do is to get the tank ready. We're gonna fit the uh, level meter and the fittings for the breathers. So the first thing you wanna do is actually put some thread tape around each of the fittings to make sure you have a waterproof connection. So with the supplied thread tape, you wanna go in the clockwise direction around the fitting. So you wanna go around three or four times. That should be enough. Go ahead and do that for all the fittings. So you want to attach the breather onto the female attachment. So just with a thread tape, just attach it on, tighten it up so it's tight. So you want to start installing these banjo fittings into the tapped holes. These are a tapered hole. So you're not supposed to tighten them all the way down. Just tighten them until they're firm and you feel that you've got a watertight seal. So that's all you need. They're a banjo fitting so you can adjust them later. So this is the one for the top of the water level meter. We'll go ahead and do all the other ones. This is the one for the breather. There's another one the same on the other side. So this hole here on the bottom close to the outlet here we want to put a metal fitting down the bottom here. This is because when you're driving on gravel roads, you can get uh, rocks flung up, and I've found that the plastic ones uh, can break, so I've supplied a metal fitting. So same as the other ones, just tighten it till it's firm. It's a banjo fitting, so you should be able to adjust it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to install the clear tube for the level meter. So measure the clear tubing. and cut it to length. What you want to do now is just push them in. That'll give it a good seal. And there you go. That's your clear tube level meter. Next thing to do is install these rubber mounts. So you use the M8 bolts, I mean M8 nuts. And just position them in the middle of the slot for now. Uh, we can adjust them later, but I find that if you put them in the middle, it's pretty close. So do that from both sides and tighten them up. So this is what your tank should look like, ready for install on the car. You know, rubber, rubber mounts installed, breather fitting, the level meter installed and the same rubber mounts and breather fitting. This is where the tank's going to fit. Just make sure there's no stray wiring like this wire. We're going to table tie this back out of the way so that it doesn't obstruct the tank. The brackets mount onto the tow bar bolts here so we'll be mounting to those. So what we'll do now we'll get another person to give us a hand and we'll bolt this tank up. Okay, grab the tank and the brackets and another person is very handy too. So lift up the tank and put it, put it in place first. Okay, just hold it in place. Push the tank over to one side. You should be able to slide the brackets up. And then push the tank back the other way and slide the other bracket up. Flip it over. And that's it. Done. Now we need to grab some M10 nuts. So install the M10 nut under the bolt that protrudes from that tow bar. Do this on both sides. Just nip them up loosely and then we'll adjust the position. Okay, the next thing to do is to attach the M8 nuts to the bottom of the uh, rubber, rubber mounts. So just attach those up and adjust the position of your tank before you tighten everything up. 
And the same on the other side. Now you want to check the position of your water tank and check for clearance to the tow bar and the fuel tank. If you need to adjust it, there's adjustment in the brackets. And the other thing you want to do is you want to lift the tank up as high as much as possible to give yourself plenty of clearance. Go ahead and adjust your tank and tighten up all the bolts. So attach the breather lines to the top of the tank. You can see the breather line there and just run the breather lines to a point as high as you can on the vehicle. I've run it along that fuel filler and you can see it up the top there. Do the same on the other side. Okay, the last thing to do is to attach the tap. Now, we need this extension if you're just gonna be running the tap only. This is to allow for people who wanna put uh, pumps in where they have to put a T-piece in. So we wanna put the thread tape on, clockwise direction. Get this on. Also, on the tap itself, clockwise direction. So what we'll do now, we'll attach the extension on first and then we'll wind the tap onto that. Okay. So that's your tank installed. Tap in place fits nicely underneath there, that's the K-On 30 litre water tank. So the way you fill and empty this tank is through the same outlet. That's just a standard garden hose fitting, just attach your garden hose to it. You can um, also attach an inline filter if you want to filter the water before it goes into the tank. So open up the valve, turn your hose on, the water will go inside the tank. You'll hear it fill and when you hear the water coming out of the breathers at the top there, you know it's full. Then what you do is you just close off the close off the tap and unhook your hose. Easy as. And if you want to um, get water out of your tank, just use the tap.